bad line, eh? You always have time, you just spend it on other things. It's a good one to kind of think about. Morning team, starting off with a bit of a chill day, just uh, taking my time kind of in bed today, uh, a little bit of a sleep in, and then again, still on my just 10 pages. That's my goal, it's just to read 10 pages a day to keep me on my kind of like reading schedule. For now though, it's time for me to wash my hair and get ready for the day. So team, hair is all washed. It's in that nice uh, fluffy state right now. There's no product or anything in it. So team, as it is hair loss awareness month, I thought it'd be a good time to talk to you a lot about hair loss and also introduce you to a brand called Nioxin, which some of you might be familiar with. I've been using Nioxin for the past roughly two to three months, and I'm really happy to actually be partnering up with them on today's video. So hair loss can be a very sensitive subject amongst men, which means it's also not talked about enough. Therefore, a lot of men aren't educated on hair loss and also aren't doing the correct steps to help fight slash prevent it. So team, I wanna make this as simple as possible for you. You know how you take care of your face, well, I hope you take care of your face and you clean it. You know, you've got a cleanser, you've got a moisturizer, you've got serums, you know, help prevent pimples and wrinkles, etc. Well, there are very similar steps to be taking for your hair to deliver thicker and fuller hair. First, we have the Nioxin Shampoo. Think of this like a face cleanser, but for your scalp. This really helps like remove the fatty acids and the environmental like residue from your scalp and hair. And this is really the first step to provide a very clean and healthy surface. Then we have the Nioxin Scalp Therapy Conditioner. This is a density protector which helps provide hair resilience and controls the moisture balance. Again, think of this as similar to applying face moisturizer. And finally, we have the super weapon. This stuff is insane. This is the Nioxin Scalp and Hair Treatment. Similar to using like a serum on your face that really focuses on one thing, the scalp and hair treatment is designed to give you thicker and two times fuller hair. And unlike the shampoo and conditioner, this is a treatment that you actually leave in your hair. What's also great about Nioxin is that they offer different systems based on your hair type. For example, whether you have natural hair, colored hair, or chemically treated hair, and then on the thinning stage you're at, whether it be a light thinning stage or a progressed thinning. I also wanna add that you don't just wanna be using these products once you see signs of thinning, you actually wanna be using them beforehand as well to make sure you have the healthiest foundation possible. Again, you don't just wash your face when you have a pimple, you wash your face all the time to help prevent future pimples. And finally team, remember to eat healthy, drink plenty of water and exercise daily. Hair loss is a very natural thing and you definitely shouldn't feel embarrassed or ashamed about it. If you do want thicker and fuller hair, you can find a link in the description box down below to all the Nioxin products. And team, if you do have any questions at all, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll try and answer them for you. So finally, my new camera has arrived and let me tell you, this for the past two weeks has completely consumed me. I've picked up the Fuji X-T4 with a 23 millimeter lens, which is kind of actually the equivalent to a 35 millimeter lens because it's not a full frame camera. And that's gonna be like my daily run and gun camera. For now, I really just wanna, I really wanna unbox this. Also, I am getting a haircut this week. On Thursday, I'm getting a haircut, so we'll clean, we'll clean all this up and I'll probably have a shave too. Oh, hey, here it is. I decided to go for the silver and black because I really do like that kind of more, you know, vintage kind of like film look camera. It also makes it a little bit more kind of like not so serious, a little bit more discreet if I am filming in places because people will see it more, hopefully we'll see it less as like a massive, you know, big production camera. And the prime lens that I decided to go for was the 23 mil F2 lens. And there we have it. That's pretty much going to be my run and gun setup. High quality footage, but still a little more stealth. So I lose myself in labor. Lose myself. Time to cry when the day's filled. Time to cry. 
When the lights turn low and there's no one here Can I shed a tear? Can you lullaby me? Oh, so baby, can you love me? I really want that lullaby So love my body So I noticed that I didn't ever show you actually what I ended up picking up from our legacy in, in that time of just kind of grinding a little bit of a beard. I ended up picking up a total of four items that were all on sale for 50% off that had been on my list. All of these items had sold out online. So I just randomly went into store and I was like, look, by any chance, do you happen to kind of have these? And yeah, they said yes. They had my size in each item and it was the last item left of each size. Does that make sense? Did I say that correct? First up, we have the R Legacy mono jacket and it's actually 100% linen. So it's this really nice, soft, lightweight jacket. I mean, even teaming up with sweatpants, I think it's cool. This is a size 48, so like a medium. And I feel it fits me perfect. I really like this. My favorite way of styling right now is because I just made like a TikTok video with it is with my acne studio jeans, the loafers, the gray tucked in the vest, and then the tote bag. I think that's a really clean fit. Next we have the R Legacy, I don't know why I keep saying R Legacy, but the R Legacy vest in this really nice, just knitted material. This is, when they told me that they did have this in stock, I was kind of shocked because it's been sold out online for quite some time. And yeah, to have it in my size and 50% off, it was just, to me, this is like the ultimate, like just layering item. Like it's so lightweight, perfect for summer with a white t-shirt underneath. You could also have it with literally no t-shirt on underneath. My kind of like favorite way to style it at the moment is like with my green trousers from running. Also like my uh, cream trousers as well with the white t-shirt. Then we have the shirt in the exact same material. The way I would style this, I wouldn't wear it with a t-shirt. The reason I wouldn't want to wear it with a t-shirt is I just don't like it showing that there. So maybe if it was a black t-shirt, like I can see myself wearing this again with like green trousers or also potentially like the Omplissé trousers and boots, like if I was going a bit for a night out. And then we come into the last item, really nice, lightweight, kind of like it's like a polo shirt. So I probably wouldn't wear this with a t-shirt on underneath. However, I mean, actually when I look at it there, maybe I would, but ideally it would be worn with like kind of nothing un underneath. I really like it. It's chill, it's cozy. I don't have anything like this in my collection. So if you hear all that annoying creaking, it's because it is like the windiest day in London and I'm quite high up in the building. So all that creaking is from this weird storm that's going on. So I do apologize for, for the weather.
favorite. Clearly my dining table still hasn't arrived. And you might be thinking, okay, but why sit on the floor? When you have a chair you can sit on. It's a new chair as well. And you're correct, but I just thought the shot looked better with the food. <laughs> with the food on the chair and my ass on the floor. That's what we do. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on my clothing line. As you saw, that was the first actual kind of like proper try on of the trousers. Now, they're not in that color. It's not that material, it's none of that. This was to get the shape and everything. Very, very happy with that. We made a few adjustments. To give you an idea of little things that we're doing, I like the idea of having belt loops, obviously, so you can wear a belt, but then also on the inside, having actually the waistband being slightly adjustable as well. So it's even less likely, you know, that you'd need to get your waist taken at the tailor. That's what something I personally look for in trousers. So currently I'm looking at releasing four items. Uh, the goal is for that to be this year. The other three items are being worked on right now. Uh, most of you will probably be able to guess what one of the other ones is. It is a process, so again, just like bear with me, but I do want to just be able to give you little snippets and stuff. And soon enough, I'm actually going to be asking you a lot of feedback and kind of like what you look for in trousers. Cause I want you lot to be a part of it as well. But for now, I I'm going to enjoy the sandwich because I, I kind of just love it. Thank you. 